I just love lore. Don't you too? Of course you do. You're here. Backstory and lore give so much more immersion to a game. I personally feel way more connected and immersed in the setting if I know who I'm playing as, where I'm fighting and why. I mean, don't get me wrong, I love to shoot a bad guy in the face anytime, but backstory and lore makes it 10 times more immersive. Don't you just have the same feeling? I love the Division's lore and there's many other games that have great lore too, including Call of Duty Modern Warfare. Today I'm not focusing on the campaign, no no, I'm focusing on multiplayer. Modern Warfare has at least at the moment 20 unique operator, each with their own backstory. Each backstory links to other operators and characters from the campaign like Last Wall or Price. And it's pretty damn interesting. In multiplayer there are two opposing factions, the Coalition and the Allegiance. Although joined together in an armistice in Spec Ops, in multiplayer the two factions oppose each other. The Coalition is comprised of three factions, the SES, Warcom and Demon Dogs, while the Allegiance is a congregation of the Spetsnaz, Jekylls and Chimera forces. Each one has 10 operators for the moment, with more coming in Season 2, perhaps coolest of all. And in this video I'm covering the operators and their backstory for the Coalition. The Allegiance is set for another video. Let's start with the Coalition's SES, or Special Air Service. The first SES operator, other than the standard one, is Jacob Mike Thorne. Born on May 1st, 1988 to his mother Ruth and father Stephen in the United Kingdom, he joined the Royal Air Force at 18 years old. Thorne chose the officer's track, entered and passed the SES selection at 23 years old, honoring his family tradition as his father Stephen Thorne was a major in the SES. Known as Union Jack to his peers, he served with distinction under Captain Price for three years until he transferred for ethical disagreements. Perhaps something having to do with Price drawing the line wherever he needs it to be. In 2014 he achieved the rank of Lieutenant, he was given command of an SES platoon and was paired with Lieutenant Charlotte Charlie Johnstone of the SRR. Thorne was later handpicked by the Director Special Forces to represent the SES inside the Coalition. On June 12, 2018, the Coalition launched an Operation Iron Canopy with the intent to capture Jekyll's commander, Victor Zane Medico. Thorne was believed to have encountered Zane during the operation but reported negative contact. One of his peers is Charlie, another SES member from the UK. Charlotte Johnstone was born on February 20, 1987. Between the age of 8 and 18 she was trained by her father, Captain Greg Johnstone, by hunting poachers during trips in Kenya and Tanzania. She became an expert tracker. In 2005 Charlie joined the British Army following a family tradition. She applied for and then passed selection for the Special Reconnaissance Regiment or SRR. She served multiple tours in Iraq, Afghanistan and Libya. From 2011 to present she was paired with Lieutenant Jacob Thorne. They quickly became friends and together maintained an 84.4% success rate in their missions according to coalition figures. At some point in Uzbekistan, Charlie successfully orchestrated the defense and liberation of a CIA safe house in the southern part of the country. This is how she became friends with case officer Kate Leswell. Benjamin Francis Otter Lee was born in 1992. He became orphaned at the age of three and was raised as a ward of the state. His juvenile criminal record includes several counts of larceny, burglary, vandalism, public intoxication and aggravated assault. In June 2011, at the age of 19, Otter gained international fame after thwarting an Alcatala knife attack in Hyde Park, London. He beat the suspect unconscious while onlookers watched and recorded the event. Two months later he joined the British Commandos. Lee thrived in training and entered the SES selection on recommendation by senior officers. He passed the selection in January 2012, Other was deployed to operations in Iraq, Afghanistan, Libya, Somalia, Yemen and Uzbekistan. Here he served under Captain John Price in at least seven operations and Price describes Other as a ruthless, capable soldier but often overzealous. 
Lee developed a friendship with Jackson Wyatt during a joint SES Australian Army Reserve operations in Afghanistan. Psychological evaluation of other describes antisocial tendencies, suggesting his friendship with Wyatt is unique. Moving on to Warcom. Warcom has branches from the French, German, Australian and Venezuelan armies and serves as a global counterterrorism unit. The newest operator is Mara, a Venezuelan national that was turned to the CIA, becoming an asset at 15 years old. She provided intel for the United States to launch in-country covert operations against AQ sleeper cells. After she volunteered for United States SOF or Special Operations Force training, she conducted clandestine operations for the CIA until she was invited to Warcom in 2017. She was sent to an AQ helicopter crash in Uzbekistan, it being the carrier of the chemical weapon from the campaign. Dominique Tam was born in 1993 in France. She trained since the age of 16 to represent France in the Summer Olympics in track and field. She failed to qualify for the 2012 Games and was on track to qualify for the next Olympic Games before AQ attacked Paris. After the attack, Domino joined the French army and was selected for the French Special Forces, where she exhibited extraordinary physical fitness and cognitive ability. She broke three regiment records. In 2017, she was sent to Uzbekistan as her first combat deployment, and later she was tasked with supporting the coalition forces. She was handpicked to represent France inside the Warcom unit. Jackson Henry Wyatt was born in 1992 in rural Tasmania, Australia. He grew up with three brothers, Billy, Jimmy and Jeffy. Jackson grew up and was raised on long distance 4x4 expeditions and wilderness training into the bush. Jackson was described as fearless by his friends and family. In 2010, Jackson and his brothers joined the Australian army for the challenge and served full tours in Afghanistan. While his brothers returned to Australia, Jackson chose a military career and was accepted into the 1st Commando Regiment of the Australian Special Forces in October 2012. He was later deployed in Afghanistan between 2012 and 2014. He then took part in different operations in Uzbekistan from 2015 to the present day. White was recommended for the war unit of the coalition by Benjamin Otter Lee. Hans Rudolf Golem Blaustein, better known as Golem, was born in 1986 and was raised in Oberstdorf in the Federal Republic of Germany. He was taught the arts of bow hunting and won in his trekking by his father, Daniel Blaustein, a colonel in the Commando Spezialkräfte, or KSK. They made frequent excursions into the German and Austrian Alps. Hans joined the Bundeswehr in 2004 at 18, following a family tradition established after World War II. The past selection for the KSK 4th platoon specialized in geographic operations. Hans was deployed in Mozambique, Uzbekistan and the Kostovian Mountains. Golem served as a superior officer to Kruger who was known as Corporal Joseph Das in the KSK during Operation Nachtigall in Mozambique. Civilians were found killed with 7.62 NATO rounds consistent with Kruger's weapon. This prompted the KSK to investigate and discover Kruger's assumed identity. Kruger escaped custody with assistance from Blaustein, or so it was believed, but Golem was never formally charged for his action and still enjoyed a sterling reputation with the KSK. The third faction of the coalition are the Demon Dogs, an elite unit of Marines and various other US Special Operation members that are led by Sergeant Marcus Griggs. They assisted Alex in the campaign apprehending the wolf from AQ in Uzbekistan. Wayne D. Day Davis was born in El Paso, Texas in 1983. He joined the United States Army on his 18th birthday, six days after September 11, 2001. In May 2002, he passed the U.S. Army Ranger School and was deployed to Afghanistan the next month as part of Operation Enduring Freedom. He was later deployed to Iraq for Operation Iraqi Freedom, where he fought during the First and Second Battle of Fallujah in 2004. In 2009, Davis was redeployed in Afghanistan as part of the troop search. For five years, he worked in an extensive cooperation with Task Force Orange until Davis and Alice 
conducted an unsanctioned assault on a Taliban stronghold to rescue one private Grace and Jeffries in 2014. Jeffries was captured during an ambush while under Wayne's command. Despite the pacification of the stronghold, Jeffries was found dead. As a result, Alice was demoted and Davis was discharged under Section B and sent back to El Paso. Davis later returned to Afghanistan with the PMC group Hadrian Defense Solutions. In October 2019, he was recruited by Alice to join the Demon Dogs unit of the coalition. Alexia Alice Valenzuela was born in the United States of America in 1991. Her mother immigrated to the US from Sinaloa as an asylum seeker. She joined the United States Army at 18 where she excelled in written, cognitive and physical performance. However, four incidents of disciplinary issues and problems with authority were reported. She later entered and passed selection for Task Force Orange with noted reservation from Senior Drill Sergeant, Sergeant First Class William Griggs. As part of Task Force Orange, she was deployed in Afghanistan in 2010. In 2014, Alice and Wayne D. Day Davis conducted an unsection assault on a Taliban stronghold in the Kandahar province to rescue Private Grace and Jeffries. Alexia planned and directed the successful pacification of the stronghold, but Jeffries was still found dead. As a result, she was demoted and Davis was discharged under Section B. After the Kandahar incident, she was reassigned to support roles for the following three years, including training Afghan female soldiers. During that time, she felt several requests for combat assignment and was finally chosen for Demon Dogs in October 2019. She contacted and recruited D-Day for Demon Dogs the same month. Damien Ezekiel Reigns is the third and final operator for the Demon Dogs, being born and raised in Chicago. During his youth, he was expelled from high school after defending another student. 2006, at the age of 20, Reigns joined the United States Marine Corps to qualify for the GI Bill but chose to continue his career in the Marines. Reigns served as a Marine radio operator in the Iraq War between 2007 and 2009 in infantry, armored and special reconnaissance. He developed a reputation as a fearless, laser-focused Marine. He passed the selection to become a Marine Raider and served with distinction in Iraq before being deployed in Afghanistan between 2011 and 2015, where he was assigned to train Afghan security forces. During that time he considered to retire, but at one point Reigns and Sergeant Marcus Griggs of the Demon Dogs cooperated in an operation codenamed Sepulture. Not many details were known about that mission, but the speed of Reigns' reassignment to Demon Dogs suggests a connection. He was immediately deployed in Uzbekistan to serve his new unit. In March 2020, AQ's new leader Khaled al-Assad launched a full-scale assault against Verdansk in Kostovia. Operators from the coalition and allegiance were deployed to Verdansk to stop AQ as part of the Armistice Initiative. The Armistice is a temporary military alliance between the coalition and allegiance factions created by their respective representatives and leaders. CIA case officer Kate Laswell and FSB Sergeant Kamarov to stop and sever AQ's access to weapons, funds, intelligence and hardware after their invasion on Kostovia, located in the Caucasus region. During her service with the Armistice, Domino reportedly developed a friendly rivalry with Sydney Sid from the Chimera PMC. And Reigns had taken an interest in the Allegiance operator Grinch, extending to the independent research outside of the battlefield. Those were 10 operators of the coalition, each one having an interesting backstory. I very much enjoyed reading about this and hopefully you did too. The Allegiance has 10 operators too, plus there's a story behind the multiplayer maps or spec ups I can do too, so let me know in the comments if you're interested in that. That's it for this video, I hope you guys liked it. If so, leave a like on the video as it will help me being discovered by other viewers. If you disliked it, feel free to do so, but give me some feedback on how I can improve. Thank you guys for watching, I always appreciate you guys turning up to every video and to any newcomers. If you like this sort of stuff, make sure to subscribe. I'll talk to you soon, peace out.